Hi, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Weissman double case for clarinet. This case is leather, it's handmade, it looks really, really nice. It feels extremely premium. In my opinion, kind of the premium aspects were probably either first or second in their mind whenever they were designing this case. This case does cost a lot of money for what it is. So the handmade feel, premium leathers and presentation certainly go a lot into the cost. Now, when you get the case, this is just about what it's gonna look like. It doesn't really come in any packaging. There's no information describing anything about the case, any, no thank yous. I didn't buy this directly from the Weissman company. I bought it from a third party place. You can get it custom made, sort of, because um, they're all you know handmade or you know hand produced. They don't have, a, I don't think, a reserve of these or at least a very big reserve because not many people are buying these. The case has a couple things on the outside that are different from the actual case. So I'm just gonna go over those quickly just so you know what's going on. All right, so one of the first things that caught my eye whenever I got this was, I mean, I didn't really expect this, nor did I expect this chunk of leather down here, um, but everything's kind of rolled up and untouchable because of this. So I'm gonna go and take this off. So as you can see, there's this nice leather bag. It's not very flashy, but it is just nice leather. The inside is pretty simple. There's just a divider. This is cool. It's a little bit of nice extra space, but I do think it's quite ridiculous um, to take this on and off every single time you'd want to put on your case would be very annoying. I'll show you now how long it takes to put on. So doing that every single time you want to put away your instrument, I guess that's not that long, um, but you'd have to, you'd have to imagine that after you go practice for a while or do your performance wherever, this is gonna be somewhere else. And before you can, you, know, you pack up everything, do all your stuff, and then you gotta find this and then you gotta put it on. To me, it's just not worth it. I mean, I sound like a spoiled bratty kid right now, but it is kind of a hassle. Um, it does look cool, but for me, it's just not worth it. Another thing to note, if you are wanting to use this strap is it has all these holes for like different sizing, but it only could possibly fit on maybe the first or maybe second one. No, it could only really fit on the first one, which is a little bit weird. And if you are gonna kind of daily drive the strap thing, one good benefit, I mean, it, it is really easy to take off, um, but you have to take it off to open the case and now you have another loose piece of your case, which, you know, you don't want that many things floating around. It's easy to lose things like that. All right, the second thing on the outside is this little leather protector for the bottom of the case. Um, it's just like a sheet of leather. Um, it's just to protect the bottom here, nothing more. And lastly are these straps. These straps are positioned right in front of the logo, which I find weird. I feel like it would make sense if the logo was over here, straps were over here, but you know, to each his own. All right, sorry if the framing looks a little bit different. This is actually a different day. Um, I forgot to talk about these straps here. So these straps are kind of what you'd expect. Um, they are all leather, of course, all handmade, of course, all that other stuff. Um, they're a little bit weird to use. They're not very easy to use, but they're used as normal. Um, you can adjust them a little bit. And when I mean a little bit, I have set it up here right now to show you how long you can make them, which this, or how short, this is as short as you're gonna make it. And most people are probably gonna want this, could be a little bit shorter. And this is how long you can make it. It's a little bit hard to see, but there is not a lot of difference. This is the shortest, this is longest. You're looking at it from a, an angle, so it's a little bit hard to see but it is not a very big difference. Aside from that, uh, this is a obviously curved, so it is not gonna be incredibly comfortable on your back. It's never gonna feel like it's like on your back. It's always gonna feel like most of it's resting off, off of your back, which is a little bit weird. Also, the logo is covered up by the straps. There is no logo over here. To me, it makes a lot more sense to just throw that logo over there. So, you know, there's not a logo in front of straps. I'm probably not going to be using these straps, especially because I feel like one of the big reasons to get this case is because it's small and it is pretty similar to like a normal case that you would find um, for a you know, single instrument, but it's just a little bit bigger for the double. So I feel like the person who would get this one is probably not the type of person to wear it as a backpack. Another thing to note, there are feet, uh, eight feet in total, two on here, or four on there, four on here, which is pretty nice. I do like that a lot. Um, one weird thing that the surface around the rings is a little bit um, kind of degraded on some of these. I think it's on this side. No, it's on this side. So this one right here, I don't know if, it's, if I'm gonna be able to pull that out in framing, but it's a little bit, it's just like off colored. It kind of looks like that leather's more aged somehow. But just so, so you know, there's 
some quality control things because this is handmade that are probably overlooked. So now that we're actually getting inside the case, um, there is a lot of Velcro to get in, which surprised me. I didn't expect there to be this much Velcro. Um, so the actual, to open the case is actually Velcro. Just like that. Um, the Velcro kind of worried me because I thought it would be, again, I, I mean, I sound like a spoiled brat, but I thought it would you know, be annoying to mess with Velcro every day. Velcro, to me, is kind of cheap feeling and with how expensive this is, I mean, Velcro seems kind of like a cop-out. I would expect like a metal strap or something, or metal clasp. Um, that would be a little bit more premium feeling, but honestly, it, it probably takes the same amount of time to open as any other case, but closing it is really quick, um, other than this strap up top. Um, and I mean, that's on you if you want to decide if you want to lock that up too. But closing is really quick, so there is, you know, that adventure of the Velcro, so I'm pretty okay with the Velcro. And I mean, I'm sure you can get pretty quick with opening up the Velcro. So now you have a little bit of a better view for the inside of the case. Um, the reason why I'm making this review is because it's so hard to find stuff about this case online. So hopefully this is helping y'all out with what this case actually looks like. So these flaps here are just kind of a piece of styrofoam. They're not um, like a blanket. They're pretty rigid for what it is. Um, they are nice. I do, one thing I really like about this case is how packed in it is and how secure my clarinet feels in here. It feels very locked in. Opening this up, um, one thing you'll notice is it flops down, which can be annoying, especially if you're, you know, you're wanting to put together your clarinet here. Every single time you use two hands, you're gonna have to reach out, you know, and pull it, push it back up. So actually looking inside here, I'm gonna I'll put something over there to weigh, weigh it down. There is pretty deep pockets for where your clarinet fits in, and each pocket really feels just like a mold of your clarinet. It really sits in quite deep and it really feels secure. One thing to note is at least my case, maybe this is a you know handmade thing or maybe this is just a defect of the case or aspect of the case here, is these bell fittings aren't actually the same depth. So if you look over here, I don't know, I just took these out, but if you look over here, there's no visible, the bell is right here and I cannot feel the bell at all. And on this whole entire side, there's nothing sticking up out. But over here, you can't really feel it, but the bell over here is sticking up much wider and it's probably really hard to see on camera, but this is actually lifting up. It's kind of like arced, ooh, like that. Like, I don't know, like an arc. Yeah, you get it. Um, so it's a little bit weird. I don't think it's gonna cause any issues, especially considering how it's really, it's me sandwiched in between two massive things of padding. But it, to me, it is a little bit weird. And look at that. I mean, just holding it back for a little bit. Now these don't flop down. So you can disregard what I said earlier. Yeah, and so the biggest reason why I wanted to get this case is because this little pocket here of space, this is smaller than what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a lot bigger. So when I got this, I was a little worried that all my stuff wasn't gonna fit in here because I like carrying everything I need with my clarinet. I'm pretty sure, I mean, a lot of people are like that. I, you know, there's nothing that I don't want with my clarinet, like all my screws, all my like key lube, all my polishing cloths, all my mouthpiece pads, all my, you know, everything. So this comfortably fits all of that. Uh, I have one side, you know, stuff for my like, my daily uses, like I use a neck strap and my like mouth guard, my swab and like cork grease are all just, you know, in this one pocket right here. And then everything else, all the, you know, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, just goes in here, like extra pads for my clarinet, you know, just lots of random stuff. So for me, these were plenty of space. There's a the size of like one of those like bags that your father would have that like carry all like his toothbrush and toothpaste and all those other stuff that you need for like travel. It's kind of like size of like a travel bag. I mean, you can see, I'll compare it next to the size of like a B flat clarinet because you know, everyone probably has that. So hopefully that gives you a sense of scale. There's also a little extra storage opportunities under these. Um, they are a little bit curved, but not quite as curved as the, as the case. So I uh, managed to fit like my polishing cloth here. And then in here, I've never used this, but this is like the ear spasm thing. It's just something that fits in there. Um, so, so there is a pretty decent amount of space. There isn't enough space to hold music. There isn't enough space to hold like an iPad or, or anything like that. Um, if you wanted to hold something like that, you probably would want to, oh, hey, look, these come off. I just figured out that these actually come off. So if you wanted to get a new one, I think you can order new ones. I saw you can order like different colors of them on the site, but. Oh, this is gonna be a pain to put back. Yeah, I don't recommend taking those off. But that is good to know if you need to get rid of these or swap these out if they break or something. I mean, I 
be, I would fight it hard to believe that those would break, but just in case. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, the case is really, really expensive. It's around like 700 bucks, 800 bucks. Um, you can pretty easily buy it for more money, oddly enough. I don't really know why. Some, I mean, some sites have it for like $1,200, but you know, it'd be a poor choice to buy this for 1200 bucks. It's just a case. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. It's a lot of money and it's not, I'm not sure if it's perfect or exactly what I'm looking for. I need to just use it for a while and see if you know, it does everything I want it to. But hopefully this lets you uh, have a good look on what it is. Um, I wish there was a video like this for me to, to watch before I, I bought it, but um, you know, I've, I've taken that step for y'all. So now you can see what it's like. And yeah, thanks for watching.